Hello, hello, hello. What ho! Welcome back to another exciting adventure. Uh, de Viejo. Trying out a new, uh, well, not new, but a different set of headphones to see if this does any different with cancellation of noise and whatnot, even though I'm not necessarily walking on the traffic road yet. But anyway, just. had a discussion with my son because it's my daughter's 16th birthday today and I haven't seen her in eight months because she and my youngest son decided that they didn't want to hang with their dad anymore for unknown reasons to me. I asked them what their reasons were and they never got back to me so I've just been leaving them notes and texts with no response. So, it's my daughter's birthday, and I had initially said that I would uh, treat her and two friends to what I thought would have been cool for them, axe throwing. I thought they would have been like, hey, that's kind of cool, or whatever. Could have been anything, really. You don't want to do axe throwing? Let's do something else. Go play mini golf? You know, whatever. But, you know, nothing, no response. So, my son, I just said, hey, don't forget it's your sister's birthday. And he's like, oh yeah, thanks for, thanks for reminding me. I usually take, him, take her out to dinner or whatever. I'm like, hey, see if she wouldn't mind if I tagged along because, you know, if you're there, then it kind of like, you know, spreads out the discomfort. She can talk to you and whatever. I mean, cause like, I don't even still, I, I still don't know why, but, and then uh, Harrison says, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because I've got, a, I've got a good relationship with my sister. And if I ask her to, you know, go to dinner with you and me and that's a bad thing for her, then that might mess up my relationship with her. He's like, you understand? And I said, this is what I said. Yeah, you're putting yourself before me. Okay, I get it, that's fine, you know. You're afraid of something that you don't even know is gonna happen. You're afraid of a situation that you're creating in your mind based on something that you you might infer it correctly, but you might be wrong. She might be all, you know, yeah, if you're there, then yeah, I could do that. You know, she could be totally cool with it, whatever. It's funny though, because my mom did the same thing in a conversation with her last week because, you know, four out of five of my children aren't talking to me because of the toxicity that they get from their maternal side. And that's just the way it is. And so my third son, Simon, um, someone on Facebook contacted me and said, hey, I just want to let you know I'm praying for Simon. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. It's kind of ominous. What does that even mean? So I got it out of him that Simon was going in for like a biopsy on, uh, what the hell is that? Carcinoma? Not a carcinoma. That's not it. Don't say that. It's not a carcinoma. It was a crack and just like a skin blemish. You know what I mean? Just like a minor skin blemish <coughs> can't remember I know what it is off the top of my head it's something related to the sun or whatever but anyway wind is blowing against me hope it's not too crazy in the microphone anyway so I didn't like my ex withholds information from me because she can when my relationship with Harry was on the rocks and I was, it was early in, in the divorce, and I was like, hey, uh, just checking out, how's Harry doing? Because, you know, he does, she's like, oh, well, I have a good relationship with my children. So, you know, I don't have to ask those kinds of questions. And I'm not really interested in answering your question right now at all. So if you want to know what he's like, or if you want to know how he's doing, get a good relationship going with him and ask him. So that's it. That's that. So 
she doesn't tell me anything. So she didn't tell me that Simon, you know, was having a health issue. Uh, so what I did, I said to my mom, I said, hey, you know, you know that I'm not told certain family informations when you find out things that you know I'm not going to know unless someone else tells me can you just tell me and she said oh, I really don't want to get in the middle I have a good relationship with your wife and your ex-wife and the children that I don't really like she said do you understand I'm like yeah you're putting yourself before me okay that's cool if you want to do that that's fine just realize that that's what you're doing you're afraid of a toxic relationship going bad. It's a toxic relationship that you want to hold on to and you're afraid you're going to lose it. So anyway, what do you guys think? I mean, that's basically the gist of the idea, right? That's basically the gist. If someone is so toxic that they're gonna cut off relationships with you because you're associated with someone they don't like and you ask them to hang out with you and this other person for a birthday dinner celebration, you know, if if you're going to be controlled by that relationship because that person is toxic and you're worried about losing that toxic relationship with that toxic person that's toxic and you don't want to lose that toxicity, I, I just don't get it. So I'm going to keep this one short. I'm not going to ramble on too much. I've already done that. Uh, so. Let me know what you think. I really want to know. Please give me your comments in the, uh, in the comment below and make sure you like and share this content. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks so much. I've been Travis Finley, your host on Piensas de Viejo. Until next time.